Yeah, welcome guys. This is the general knowledge section of the Pursuit TME and this is the first video on it. Even if you are not doing Pursuit TME, you are welcome. Everybody can learn from the general knowledge. So how can you benefit from this very video? All you need to do is you have to answer the questions before you hear my own answer, score yourself and you can write the your, your score in the comment box there. Without wasting our time, let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that very notification bell so you can get more of our videos as soon as they are uploaded. So enjoy! Question 1. Kwame Nkrumah's Museum is located in A. Tanzania B. Kenya C. Mauritania D. Ghana. Which of these is correct? The correct answer is Ghana. Now, let me quickly tell you something about Kwame Nkrumah Museum. It was built in memory of the, the great president Kwame in Accra, Ghana, and it was built to honor him for his good fight for the independence of Ghana. If you don't know, now you know. Question 2. Former President Barack Obama is the Dash President of the United States of America. Now, the correct answer is B, 44th. Barack Obama is the 44th president of the United States of America. His regime was between 2009 to 2017 and he was succeeded by President Donald Trump who is there till date. Do try to pause the video and answer the questions before you see the actual answer so that you can test your ability under this subject. Now, under whose regime were Delta and Adamawa State created? The answer to this question is D. General Ibrahim Babangida. It was during his regime that these two states were created. Let me tell you briefly about creation of states in Nigeria. Creation of states in Nigeria began in 1967 during the regime of General Yakubu Gowon. He created about 12 states. Babangida created uh, Adamawa and Delta State and seven other states, that is nine altogether, in 1991, that is August 27, 1991. Question 4 says, the following diseases are transmitted by mosquitoes except dash. In other words, which of these diseases cannot be transmitted by mosquitoes? Is it yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile fever, hepatitis? Which of these cannot be transmitted by mosquitoes? Now, yellow fever is of course transmittable by mosquitoes. Now, what, what do we mean by this? What this means is that mosquito is a carrier of such disease and a carrier of a particular is a carrier of the pathogens that cause this very disease. Now, a carrier of a pathogen is called a vector. So if you chose dengue fever, it is definitely wrong. The correct answer is hepatitis. Now, hepatitis cannot be transmitted by mosquitoes. It can only be transmitted to an uninfected person through unprotected sex, a using of 
uh, infected needle or injection pin, uh, contaminated food, mother to child transmission and so on. It can be prevented by making sure that you cook your food very well and uh, you can see other preventive measures. Alright, question 5. It was Friday on January 1, 2010. What was the day of the week? January 1, 2011. Now, this question is very, very simple. Do you remember that if we celebrate New Year on Sunday in this very year, by next year, we are going to celebrate it on Monday. Do you know? I think you know. So what do you think is the answer to this question? The correct answer is Saturday. Please, if you have not subscribed, please ensure you do. And like this video if you are enjoying it. Question 6 says, today is Monday. After 63 days, it will be, that is, what day will it be after 63 days? You should know that after every 7 days, if today is Monday, after every 7 days, the next day, which is going to be what? The 8th day should always be what? Should always be Monday again. Now, here we have 63 days. So if we have 63 days and the next day is going to be what? The 64th day. And if you divide 64 by 8, is going to uh, that is going to give you in eight weeks right so it is going to be monday again because of what after the 60 uh 63rd day the 64th day itself is going to be monday because every eighth day will always give us monday in which country is mississippi river Mississippi River is in USC. In fact, the name Mississippi is the name of a state in USA. So, this river, sometimes in our primary school rhymes and all that, we usually call it the longest river in the world. But Google has it that River Nile is the longest river in the world. So what's your take on this? Has, have you also heard this? Let me know in the comment box. On a road map, a line segment of 4 inches represents a distance of 12 miles. How many miles long is 4.5 inches? This is a mathematics question, but it is general because reading of map is a general thing, not just to a mathematician or any other person. So the best way to solve this very problem, I use a method called simple proportion. So to solve this, we start with what the question says. The question says that 4 inches corresponds to 12 miles. Then we are going to say that 4.5 inches is going to correspond to uh, some number x which we do not know. And then we can cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, we are going to have that 4 times x will be equal to 12 times 4.5. We divide both sides by 4 and we have it that x is going to be equal to what? 3 times 4.5. And when you multiply that, you should get 13.5. So the answer is B. If you, if you did that right, you are an hero. You will look at this very question. You can see that it is a very, very simple question and it is in general paper because general paper is meant to be very very simple in fact this question is a primary school question no matter how simple if you are preparing for post me you have to know it now this is a similar question you are going to answer this question and write the answer your answer in the comment box and i will reply as soon as i see it Thanks for watching this very video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe.